Hi Pisces, welcome to your general tarot reading for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal reading information, decks I'm using, all kinds of social media links, past playlists. Um, my Amazon wish list is down there, ways to tip or donate. My uh, mail PO box is there if you wish to send mail or something like that. So tons of stuff there, so please do go check it out. And if you do, thank you. And um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for our personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me for letting me do this for you, doing these free readings for you. So any support you give the channel, uh, thank you. And thank you so much for being a part of its growth. And... Thank you again. Okay, Pisces. So let's see what's going on for Pisces. This will be a general collective tarot forecast, but we're going to take whatever comes out. So it could be about love. It could be about uh, work, career, finance, friends, family. It could be anything. So whatever we get, we get. And hopefully it resonates for you. So again, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Um, could actually be uh, someone around you. Could be about somebody around you that could be affecting you. Could be past, present, future. Just see what comes out. So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. All right, Pisces. This is a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? This is a zodiac oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. And here comes my kitty cat. And um, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, it's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus, but we have Gemini. So some could have a Gemini, ar Gemini around you, some way, shape, or form. Could be a friend, family member, coworker, significant other. You could have Gemini, Gemini heavenly in your chart, or know somebody that has um, Gemini heavenly, heavily in their chart. So my kitty cat wants some love in here. All right, so. Let's get an opening message for you, Pisces. Let's get an, get an opening message for you, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces for the month of November, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. What is the opening message for Pisces, please? Opening message for Pisces. Look, oh, that's... Oh, and this, it's this one. Simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. So, Spirit wants you to know it's time to take a more simpler approach to life. People, places, things. Just to keep it simple. So, something here in the month of November telling you to keep it simple. Alright, so let's see. <clears throat> Get back to basics, whatever that means for you let go of excess and that could also be you know let go of excess uh could be people places things uh maybe you need to let go if you know if you've been hoarding stuff in your house maybe you just need to let go of some stuff you've been kind of holding on to could be you know also repressed emotions i don't know where that's coming from for some of you um it's time to let go of what what is no longer serving you and just get back to the basics and keeping it simple all right, so let's see what your energy is like for November. Can we have one card for Pisces? Whoa, it's that one. Love heals fear. So we have the power. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. Hmm. So. <laughs> There could be people or someone around you that has a lot of fear, or this could even be yourself. You know, um, maybe there's fear inside of you that you need to heal. If you carry a lot of fear, or maybe someone around you could even be a child or, or just a friend who maybe has like high stress, anxiety, fears, and maybe you help to calm them and uh, boost up their ego, their confidence. Because you see the, I think it's a cougar here. It's very confident, very powerful. 
and the unicorn, you know, is very peaceful, magical energy. So maybe you have a peaceful, magic, magical energy around you. Maybe you're a natural healer. You know, maybe you, you know, unknowingly heal um, situations. You know, friends, family in the workplace. You know, maybe you're like a problem solver. I don't know. So we'll see. We're going to clarify everything with tarot. I don't know why I'm shuffling. So just to get the bottom of the deck. So <laughs> happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So this is telling you here to keep your thoughts happy, um, to think of positive things of the past. Hmm. I don't know. So let's see what's going on here. A lot of different messages. So I don't know what's going on with you Pisces. You know, maybe some of you um, have fear because maybe you're uh, going through a big change right now. And, you know, happy thoughts is kind of like staying in a high vibration and just being positive and just keeping things simple. I don't know. So what is this here? All right, so let's clarify Love Heals Fear. Why is that here for Pisces? For the month of November spirit, please. Why is that here for Pisces? Oh, that's way too many. Why is that here for Pisces, please, spirit? Thank you so much. I just want one for Pisces. The Four of Cups. So this is kind of like a, um, I'll say a low vibrational energy. This is your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This isn't like my blah, melancholy, bored kind of energy. Um, you know, it is about love and emotions. It's like, you know, things being stagnant, like no love's coming in, no love's going out. You don't know if you should send love out or accept love or anything like that. It's just like, blah. But, I mean, you do have a divinely guided cup up here that you're not seeing. So, I think Spirit is trying to tell you that they have your back. <laughs> they have your back. Um, that you have that love within yourself and that courage and that uh, bravery within yourself to heal, you know, your inner fears. I don't know. Let's get more energy here. I want you to keep things simple for some reason. So. so now we have the Prince of Pentacles. So this is a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. So this is a knight. Yeah, that's a knight. So it's a very slow-moving knight, moving forward with a lot of um, practicality. You know, makes wise decisions, um, moves forward and calculates every move. You know, but it's a very uh, abundant, prosperous energy. Um, because they make those wise decisions. So let's get one more. Let's get one more for Pisces. The star. So this is healing energy, Aquarius. Uh, healing, divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true. You know, balancing things out, tempering things. I feel like you may be heading in a new direction that's divinely guided for you. And Source is trying to hand you that cup too over here. But for some reason you have fear. And, you know, the universe is trying to show you the love, the light, the way to overcome your fears and doubts. That you can move forward with a very smart, practical energy. Maybe slow moving, but that's okay. Because I think you're heading towards your um, fate and destiny and a wish dream come true. But you need to, if you have negative thoughts, fear, doubt, you need to get rid of that energy and heal that also with the star and just keep things simple. You know, it's kind of, you see this like stream here, just kind of go with the flow, keep things simple. There is the sun shining here, which is success, victory, happiness, and joy. So there's like really no need to worry. So I don't know the Gemini, uh, again, could be somebody around you. Um, 
a friend, a co-worker, a family member. Well, like I said, you could have Gemini heavily in your chart. All right, so let's get one more to clarify, a couple more. So we got the moon, and that's your energy, Cancer and Pisces energy here. So that's like not seeing things clearly. Um, you know, not seeing things for what they are because you can't see clearly in the in the at the nighttime energy. But um, but the sun always comes out after the night, and then you see things clearly. So you may not see things clearly now, and that's why you kind of have a need to have keep uh, happy thoughts. Because you, you can't see things clearly, so that may, may be that doubt, that fear, that negative thinking. <clears throat> and then you have the Five of Swords energy, which is sort of, um, and that's that Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it could be you or somebody around you who's very um, self-centered, selfish. They may have, you know, a large ego. They only think of themselves. You know, they get ahead no matter what. They don't care how they do it, who they do it to kind of energy. So you may want to watch that energy. It's like watch your back because you may have somebody around you that you can't trust that maybe has a lot of secrets here. Again, it could be a friend, a family member, co-worker, or something like that. But I feel like you're moving away from something, the Knight of Pentacles, but it's very slow. It's very slow moving. It's like you're not sure of it, but I think, you know, divine energy is kind of trying to show you the way, especially with the star here. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what your actual situation is. Let's see what your actual situation is. For Pisces, for November. So we got the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, Three of Swords. Need one more. Okay. And the Hermit. All right. So this could have been someone around you that kept secrets from you, that was very um, hurtful to you, that did something to you to get ahead at all costs and then you care how they did it. And you may not have seen it coming with the Four of Cups energy. And now we have the Hermit. So your actual situation is we have the Eight of Cups, which is, you know, wa walking away from something. Three of Swords, right in the middle of your spread. It's a very hurtful, painful here, something that hurt your heart deeply, which caused you to go inner to do inner journey work here. This is uh, Virgo energy here. <sighs> so I feel like, I mean, you could have decided just to walk away from somebody. I mean, maybe they tried to come back and apologize, try to heal the situation. Cause you've got, you know, heal here, you have heal here. And like, you know, again, I mean, this could be a variety of things here. Again, Prince of Pentacles could be that energy too of coming in trying to Offer something stable, something to try to heal this. But I feel like they did something so wrong that you decided just to walk away from them. It's like, nope, this was so painful and hurtful to me. I, nope, I'm done. You know, I'm done. And, you know, you just kind of went off on your own here. And you did um, doing inner journey work, soul work, trying to find your way, your light, your path. Too many secrets, deceptive energy, especially with the Five of Swords here. It's like this is a person with the Five of Swords that's going to lie, cheat, manipulate, do what they got to do to get ahead. I don't care who they hurt, how they do it, who they do it to. It's just all about them. And maybe you didn't even know that, didn't even see that about this person with the moon energy. But somehow, I, I don't know, you, you found something out. I don't know how. Um... But I feel like, I feel like they want to try to heal this, but I think you're not having it because the Eight of Cups is like walking away. It's like, I'm turning my back on it. I'm just done with you, this situation. It could have been like something in your work environment. It could have been something with a coworker, a friend. 
Maybe they were a Gemini. I don't know. Let's get a couple more for your actual situation. The hangman. And there you go. <laughs> Cancer Pisces again. I feel like you're really hung up on this. Like you really, like you just couldn't escape it. And that's probably what uh, you need to heal from. It's to just let it all go. If you decided to walk away from this, just cut ties because of all that hurt and pain and just heal yourself. I mean, this is doing, I mean, the hermit and the star, that's like going within and healing and then healing here. I feel like whatever happened here is like really, really it bothered you. It's, you were really like stuck, like feeling stuck and hung up, hung up on it. Like you just couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, why did this happen? Why did they do this? Why to me? Why, whatever here. It's just like, it's like you couldn't get on from it. It's like you just felt stuck in that energy. All right. What else? What else? For, but I mean, the hangman usually does eventually see things from a new perspective, um, gets enlightenment and, un, you know, unties himself from that tree. So you can do that. You can untie yourself from that tree. <laughs> and as I said, I got the ace of wands. So you can go in a new direction here. This is an exciting new endeavor, project, exciting new passionate, something you'll be very excited about. Brand new beginning there. So you can have a brand new beginning for yourself. And feeling very excited and passionate about a new project, endeavor. It could be a new job. It could be just moving on from this. You know, just mustering up all your courage, strength. And this is divinely guided new beginning. So some sort of new beginning there. Just moving on from this energy, just moving on again with a lot of excitement and vigor for life again and not being caught up. I feel like you were just so caught up in this and the energy. It's like it just overwhelmed you. So you're just sitting there, like can't stop thinking about it, can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> and with the Knight of Pentacles there, it's like you need to move on from that and maybe a slow, hard process to get over it. Yeah, the sun energy in reverse. So... You know, this is success, happiness, joy, enlightenment, happy home and family, fulfillment in every way. But it's in reverse. So, um, now this is your advice. It's a sign in reverse. So this, you know, it can be, you know, sadness, disappointment kind of energy. But even though it's reverse, it's still a positive outcome. It's just a delay. It may be a little sadness in that. So I feel like, you know, you will get your peace, your happiness, your balance um, in all ways. But I think you're really going to have to do that work to get over this and just go for that Ace of Wands new beginning. Live life again is what I'm getting. Just get, get, just keep it simple. Get this, all those thoughts out of your mind and just think back on other things in your life that are happy. All right, Pisces, one more for your uh, outcome here. The devil, yeah, wow. So <laughs> Capricorn energy here. So this is a lot of toxic negative energy, can be. Yeah, so you're delaying your own happiness and joy, success and victory and everything moving forward because you're staying caught up in this toxic energy of whatever happened here. It's like you're delaying your own progress and movement forward by staying stuck and that toxic energy. It's like you feel bound to it. It's like you can't stop like obsessing about it or thinking about it or, you know, whatever, whoever betrayed you in some way, it's like you just, you just can't get over it. You just can't. But I mean, you may be trying to, you may be trying to, I feel like, you know, you walked away from this person and you're really with the hermit, they're really trying to get over it. Because you've got the star there too, but it's taking a very long time. It's like you want to live life again. You want to feel passionate about life again. Oh, that's way too many. 
So I want a couple more to clarify your advice for Pisces. Yeah, the eight of wands. So yeah, being trapped in your own head, in your own mind. And this is exactly what I just said. <laughs> exactly Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this definitely could have been about a Gemini or they have it heavily in their chart. But yeah, you're trapped. It's like you're hung, hung and trapped. Wow, this energy here, this energy here. You just, you can free yourself out of this mental bondage here at any time. Because she's not really tied up that tightly and she can walk right through those swords. But she chooses to stay stuck in this situation. So staying stuck here in this toxic energy is just delaying your own movement forward and, you know, moving on from this and moving on and, you know, with a lot of happiness, joy, and life again. What else? Okay. The Two of Cups in reverse. So, you know, the Two of Cups upright, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, is, you know, soulmate, lovers, two people coming together as one. So, yeah, you're, you, there's no reuniting with this person. There's no coming back together with this person. That's your advice. Is if you walked away, your advice is, yeah, you did the best thing. As much as they may, may want to, you know, mend this, heal this, or whatever. The spirit wants you to know the best thing that you did here was walk away from this person. And don't give them the chance here to come back in no matter what. Because I feel like even though what they did was wrong, and they may maybe they feel badly and they want to mend it, but I, I, you know, I don't think they'll change that much and they may do it again in the future. So maybe not something as bad or horrific as what they did, but they could do it again. So spirits like, yep, the best thing you did is to walk away and don't come back together. Don't let, you know, just keep your distance, whatever, block them. But also you need to unbind yourself from this toxic energy because you're delaying your own life. Wow. So let's, let's see. What is the... I mean, this could be about a lover. This could be about a work situation, a friend, co-worker, a family member. It could be anything here. Somebody did something to somebody, to you or somebody around you or something that was very deceitful, was bad. And you're very, very stuck. Stuck. Seven of Wands. Yeah, being defensive on guard. That's like your possible outcome. Fire energy. So feeling like you've got to defend yourself all the time. Being on guard. Taking a stance. Being defensive. Is your outcome. Oh, all right, let's clarify that. Why is that here? The Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, you know, this is knowing your value, your worth. Being stable, sturdy, grounded. Growth, abundance. So I think you will eventually stand firmly planted and be grounded, be strong, and defend yourself and stand up against this person and not just like you put that wand up and it's like, nope, no more, done. I know my value. I know my worth now. I can be stable and grounded. I can have growth, abundance. I can be smart, analytical. I'm smart. I'm smarter than this. I know the best thing is just to block you. Yeah, blocking that person, defending yourself, knowing your value and your worth. Okay, one more. Your possible outcome. The Prince of Swords. Yeah, so this is the Knight of Swords. So, you know, this can be a reckless energy. So this person, I feel, was reckless. Whatever they did here... This is like a cold energy, reckless energy, troublemaker energy. Um, it's like they rush in and they don't think and they just do something and it's just totally reckless. And it could be something that's somebody that's like always in this energy anyway. You know, maybe you, you kept forgiving their things of the past, but maybe they just did this one big thing here. You know, very reckless energy, cold, cunning energy. And... Uh, it was like, nope, that's like the final straw. No more. Putting up my guard here. Putting up my wand. Blocking you. Block, block, block. No more of that energy. So yeah, I think you will. You will finally 
Stand up, block, totally block their energy, standing up for yourself and knowing your value and your worth with the Queen of Pentacles. See what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Six of Wands. So this is being, you know, victorious. Success, victory. So you'll be fine. Seven of Cups. You know, being a little confused. Um, you know, looking at the options, daydreaming, choices. So, you know, feeling a little confused about the situation, but knowing you have to do what you have to do. Princess of Cups again. This is a page of cups can be about, um, you know, apologies and things like that. As I had said here, I feel like this person, and this is your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I just feel like they try and try to come into you, apologize, trying to mend it. The fool energy is like they, I, they could have did something really foolish here. It's like, I want to start over. I want to start fresh with you or whatever here. Can we wipe the slate clean, start over at zero? Can we move in a better direction with the Six of Swords? Can we heal this? What judgment here? Making a final judgment call. You know, about it. And I think you're just going to say, no, I'm going in a better place. I'm traveling away from this BS and I'm leaving it behind. And I'm having my own leap of faith. They may want a leap of faith with you start restarting at zero, but I don't think you're going to have any of their apologies. It's just too confusing. It's too much of a mess. And you'll be fine on your own here with the Six of Wands without them. You'll be victorious. You'll be happy. You'll achieve your goals. But you just need to get out of this energy of letting it consume you. All right, Pisces. Get some extra messages here for you. Um... If you do like how I read, if you do like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general collective reading like this. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading. Who's coming towards you? When we are how? What kind of connection will it be? And I also do a uh, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. Spirit messages. So if you're interested in all that, Please do hit the bell. You'll be notified. You won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's get some extra messages for Pisces for November. Any other wisdom? So, yeah, I think you're all the more wiser about this person, about the situation, about what you need to do moving forward, um, and just leaving this situation behind you. I think you've gained a lot of wisdom from this situation. All right, what else for Pisces? What else? Spirituality and religion. So, you no, know, maybe you've reconnected with your faith, your spirituality, your religion. Maybe you've been praying, meditating, or you need to to help you get over this. Also, you know, listen to your gut and your intuition. Also, anything else? Karmic relationship. Yeah, so... This could have been a karmic relationship. A karmic relationship doesn't have to be a lover. It can be any kind of relationship. It can be friend, family, co-worker. It was something that was meant to be to teach you some lessons and to make you all the more wiser. Wow. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Or Pisces? Medicine man or woman. So... Again, with the heal there. So maybe, you know, like I said in the beginning, maybe, you know, some of you do have natural healing abilities or a natural ability to heal situations, to find answers to solutions, to, you know, things like that. Or to help those around you, you know, find a resolution to something also. So let's see what's on the bottom. Imprisonment or slavery. Hmm. So... Again, yeah, again here with what the Eight of Pentacles, I mean the Eight of Swords, is being like in your own mental prison. It's the same exact card here. So yeah, you're keeping yourself stuck. And maybe you need to, you know, seek out help from maybe somebody who can do some uh, chakra healing, um, just energy healing or something like that. Or maybe it could be something you could look into and maybe that may help you. And that also goes along with spirituality and religion 
Wow. Okay. Pisces, I hope this resonated for you. Um, so good luck to you and wishing you the best. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.